Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this showcase video. We have an awesome SM Battle Reports Children of the Neverborn Chaos Space Marine Force. We're back very shortly to have a look at the army in more detail. If you're new to Siege Studios' YouTube channel, then welcome. Uh, Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service offering four levels from our above tabletop bronze entry level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition quality, and all 28 artists here at the business can paint to those levels. Um, if you are interested in the quote, then very simply all you need to do is head Head to the description of this video where you can find the link that says get a quote. Click on that link and it takes you directly to the Siege Studios website's contact form. Complete that contact form selecting the relevant drop-down options for your commission and also in the message section include a list of models in our model list format. Fire that off to us to get a quote back from us and get the process started. We're back in a second to have a look at this awesome force in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up guys, as ever, we'll have a look at the characters from this SM Battle Reports Children of the Neverborn Army. Uh, five characters in the force. Obviously you've got the two Dark Disciples which go with the uh, Dark Apostle. Uh, but we've got uh, two champions uh, flanking uh, and we've also got two different lords as well. Um, so just to start off with, it's been, this whole army and project has been completed by Nick, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, and he had an absolute stellar time working on it with all the different aspects of work that are involved on the project as you see through the video. Now these, these champions are magnetised so the, uh, the jump packs do magnetise back onto the models, as you can see. Uh, but Nick's done a really great job of picking out all that sinew material on the wings and skin. Lots of contrast added in there. But very, very dark, sort of subtle edge highlighting on all the black armour panels. Uh, but every aspect of detail fully picked out and fully painted. Uh, so that's just one of the first champions. I'll move forward and have a look at the second. Again, really cool pose here with this, this sort of dark elder kind of like uh, weapon as well, which is just something a little bit different to add a bit of character to this individual. Glowing green eyes on him as well, but every little detail and every bit of uh, aspect of work completely executed to a lovely standard. So that's just the other champion. Uh, we'll then pull forward a couple of the lords. Now this is the Blackstone Fortress Lord, um, but obviously with uh, a magnetised sort of uh, demonic jump pack. Uh, you can see a lovely green glow there on the plasma that's all been executed and glow glowing green eyes as well on him just to carry that through. And you'll see that through the force on various characters and models uh, again so that's just the uh, lord here really really love, lovely finish on all of the aspects of highlighting so that's just him and then we'll have a look at the final one which i really like a lot it's um it's the master of executions i believe uh, that nick has converted for uh, for the guys at sn uh, with some really really cool extra little details different head swap obviously with those massive massive horns there with that lovely tonal variation from the, where they start to where they finish uh, all the little bone work details fully painted those heads there with some red glazing done on the eyes just to show a bit of uh, removed eyes from the models uh, and then we've got the same consistent sort of green weapon on on, on him as well and, gr and green glowing eyes on him as well uh, so that's just this awesome converted lord uh, really really cool sort of skin kind of cloth cape work as well which is lovely uh, and obviously the children never board logo it's just a transfer that you can see it's been put on there like a hand uh, almost reminiscent of the uh, the white hand of uh, Zauron, but obviously black on these guys um, and then we'll pull forward the final model from the force uh, or final character we've got the dark apostle in a slightly different pose so Nick's posed him in, in a complete different angle to how the model is normally done, uh, which looks really, really cool. Again, you've got that glowing green eyes just on him. All the areas of detail work are painted and this lovely etheric kind of green flame work and, and sort of dripping blood that's come from the book. You know, and then obviously a the complementary green as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, and it works quite nicely with the purple candles. Uh, just those two colours just complementing nicely. Uh, and overall, really, really cool dynamic pose has, has come stock on the model. But again, just with that head tilt in a different direction, it really gives a lot of interest to the model and makes him look like he's really using the book for the power that, um, that he has. Uh, we will pull forward the two Dark Disciples just so you can see those. Um, we've got other videos obviously on the channel where you can see these, but again, really, really cool models. Uh, that same etheric green flame that's been done on him as well. Uh, and all the areas of detail work on the cloth work fully painted and highlighted with a glowing green sort of bionic eye on him. Uh, I'll do specifically like the muted colour palette when it comes to the skin. Uh, and then the other Dark Disciple here, the uh, the walking uh, book holder <laughs> uh, with the candles, as you can see there with those green little flame tips as well, again, carrying that colour combination across the force. Uh, again, really, really lovely love model. Nice different, looks kind of bit like it's from Silent Hill, that mouth, mouth, mouth part as well on him, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, but again, lovely little model just to accompany your Dark Apostle. Uh, and there's all the characters from this force. Up next, we're going to be having a look at all the infantry, all the heavy support options, and some of the larger models from the force. So stick around, they're coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. So next up, we have all of the infantry and there are 50 Chaos Space Marines here on the table. So a large, large troop-based part of the force. Um, three um, three shooting squads, obviously all with bolters and uh, heavier weapons, and then two berserk 
close combat squads uh, with all with obviously chainsaw, bolt pistol, and amalgamation of weapons. Uh, really cool models. I'm not obviously going to pull forward every single model because there are 50, uh, but we'll just have a quick scan through and have a look at some of these awesome Chaos Space Marines in more detail. As you can see, Nick's done a stellar job just picking out every little bit of detail work on these models. The glowing green eyes and glowing green colours you'll see throughout the force through this video. Uh, loads of them have blood um, kind of runes and things on their tabards and different parts of the armour panels and things like that just because uh, you'll see that so kind of through the force but every edge all picked out lovely and, and uh, freshly here as well which is really lovely uh, so that's just one of the Cast Space Marines we'll pull forward a few more just so you can have a look again really really cool every bit of detail fully painted and picked out lovely bronze aspect of the armour as well sort of golden bronze uh, all the weapon casings in that complementary red uh, again with those glowing green aspects of detail on the eyes lenses and other sort of things that have etheric energy in them which is really cool uh, so that's just another one let's find a champion model because there's quite a few in here let's pull forward one of the champions from one of the shooting squads i think just so you can see him really cool i love the green skulls on the backpack as well which is really really lovely uh, but every aspect of detail there painted to a stellar finish with a lovely crisp edging on all the aspects of armor paneling and inside the uh, armor joints and things which is lovely all the grenades pouches and everything fully highlighted and edged uh, so that's just a champion let's pull forward one of the um, rotor cannons again really really cool very competitive obviously model uh, but a uh, very very cool model here again you can see that lovely belt feed of ammunition there that's all been done all the teeth and extra little details all painted uh, again metal work looking a very sort of drab kind of finish just to really show that age of the uh, the weapons and of the, the the models as well which is lovely uh, so that's just one of the rotor cannons um, and let's pull forward a few more just so you can have a look at a generic marine with a bolter here just so Obviously advancing and firing again there as you can see really really lovely pristine finish on all of these models and we can pull out models for days from these 50 and you can see obviously the same consistency throughout but i just wanted to see uh, and show you guys variation of poses and things i do like this chap as well i think he's quite cool again you can see those uh, blood kind of um, markings on the tabards as well and that's right through the force you'll see those uh, all the chains and details all painted there in a couple of colors of highlighting as well which is lovely uh, so that's just uh, another one of the uh, champions uh, and one last model just to pull that forward let's pull forward one of these dudes here um, again really really cool do love the sort of uh, charging kind of pose on this guy as well but you can see all the horn work as well all done in a lovely sort of fashion uh, but Nick spent a lot of time getting the edging super crisp on all of these and uh, getting the colours to complement really nicely as well so that's just one of the final marines I'll show you up next we're going to be having a look at all the Havocs all the heavier units from the force uh, so stick around they're coming up next uh, I do hope you're going to stick around to see the full video. See you guys back in a second. So next up, guys, we're going to have a look at all the Havocs from this force. Three units of five really, really cool models. The new Havocs obviously being a lot larger than the previous models that are available. And uh, we've got various weapon loadouts, obviously, between squad to squad with auto cannon and also LAS cannon, which is really nice. Uh, pull forward them to have a look at to start off with just one of the um, LAS cannons here. Just get this to focus for you guys. Uh, and again, you can see the classic over the shoulder mounted um, pose, which is really cool that um, that's come back onto the models. I think it's a lovely sort of nod to the old second edition kind of feel and look of the models. Uh, but you can see here all the extra little details all fully picked out painted which is lovely uh, all the chain work bronze work all the red and everything done to a lovely finish um, with all the highlighting done as well and that green um, accent color across the models as you'll see just pull forward the champion so you can have a look at him again those glowing green eyes also on him as well with a lovely sort of blue top not just to add a little uh, extra color accent onto the model uh, do love the ominous pose of him sort of leaning forward as well which is really nice again the um the havocs have the white hand uh, as well rather than um the black on on two squads have white and obviously one has black which is really nice just different squad markings uh, and then we'll pull forward one of the auto cannons just so you can see the auto cannon here again really also nice nod to the original terminator auto cannon with a blade on the end and also the large drum mag on the original terminators that i used to have uh, glowing green eyes on him as you can see there but every little detail and aspect of work all fully painted and picked out and highlighted as well with all the edging done on the intricate aspects of armor which is lovely so that's just the first squad pull forward the second squad so you can have a look and again much of the same uh, but all the eyes and little bits of detail on the armor all painted there as you can see these have obviously um, extra details on them compared to a normal uh, cast marine so you've got a lot of other extra little sort of uh, trims and bits and bobs and faces and skulls just to really show that these are obviously a, a much more intricate model uh, that's just on the auto cannons 
pull forward another last cannon from another unit again here as you can see the consistency from model to model just so you guys can see that you know you can take any model from any unit and mix it in with another and the consistency which we execute here at siege is, is perfect to match them you know very quickly on the tabletop for gaming uh, and then you've got the uh, champion from the other unit as well here again with the same detail work all done on him glowing green eyes a very much consistent theme across the force uh, so that's just him uh, and then we'll jump to the other squad just so you can see all the units or models from different units just so you can see how easy it is to mix and match them around uh, very easily for gaming purposes again another auto cannon here uh, again and then we'll pull forward one more last cannon from that unit so you can see him as well uh, but overall really really cool models uh, lots of extra little bits and bobs that nick has done just to add those really ominous chaotic details onto the models uh, and uh, an overall stellar finish from model to model there's will havix up next we're gonna have a look at all the hard hitting stuff so we've got the leviathan coming up we've got obviously two termites and then we've got some rapier batteries as well they're coming up shortly so stick around we're back in a second so next up, guys, we're going to have a look at all of the heavier options from this force. Uh, I know we've already had a look at the Havocs from the army, but last up, we've got some really, really cool models that you don't really see very often in the form of the Termites. Uh, we've also got some Rapier batteries with the six crew members and also the Leviathan Dreadnought, which I'm sure you guys all recognise as well. We'll start by putting forward some of these Rapier batteries just so you can have a look. Again, that green colourway consistently used across the force to show that kind of etheric energy. Uh, I specifically love the runes that um, Nick has painted on in blood on the gun shields and on different parts of models as you'll see throughout this this video uh just showing their allegiance to the darker gods which is really cool um again same consistency from model to model uh you've got the lovely beaten kind of metal work here with that green energy glow on the, the the weapon and also on like the command console as well which is really cool and just pull these all forward just so you can have a look at them really quickly but again all those uh, runes and things painted on those gun shields uh and then we'll have a look at some of these termites here really cool model uh loads of metal work on it as you can see uh next on a stellar job in weathering the armor on it as well which is really really cool and again you've got those uh those sigils there in blood that have been painted on the uh, on the termite as well got this uh these the, again the green complementary color on those but sort of volkite calvarins that are on there as well which is really really cool so that's just those um and then let's have a look at the other one just to see for consistency purposes purposes the other model as well again you've got all the runes there painted in blood effects again all the tracks and metal work with all weathering done just so a slight ding and scratching on the armor as well which is really really nice but there's loads of metal work on these and uh, again a really really cool model uh, not too familiar on the rules for them guys so if you do know feel free to put some information below it's always nice to see and then the final thing we'll have a look at uh, from this for part of the video is the mighty leviathan dreadnought the nick's done a bit of conversion work on putting some spikes on it and some chaos sigils uh, and again the uh, the runes in blood there done on the sarcophagus as well just so that you've got that narrative and kit in keeping and obviously some blood there on that um on that siege drill as well as you can see uh, but again lovely lovely effects with a green complementary color and all the lights and lenses and everything as well um, lots of lenses painted on this model as well which is lovely uh, but the metal work consistent from model to model with that same weathering and scratching and chipping done on different areas as well which is really really nice uh, do specifically like the red pauldrons as well just to break up the gray as well which is really nice uh, and that green and red complementing very very nicely so that's just the leviathan um, and i forgot to pull forward some of the crew members but very similar to a lot of the infantry that you've seen in the videos anyway i'll pull a few forward just so you can see them but as you can see here, you've got uh, the exact same colourway and edging and done on all of these, all the lenses and everything fully picked out in that green complementary colour. And from model to model on the tabards, we've got uh, those sigils and runes again painted in blood. Um, these guys had definitely had a fun time before going to battle this time. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool models uh, and do hope you like them. And uh, we're back in a second to have a look at the entire force in all its glory. So stick around uh, and you can find out a bit more how to take out a project with us here at Siege. See you guys back in a second. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I do hope you've liked this Chaos Space Marine Children of the Neverborn SN Battle Reports Army. If you don't know the guys at SN, do go and check them out. We'll put a link in the description to their website so you can check out their awesome old school White Dwarf style battle reports. Uh, if you are interested in a commission, be it an army, character or small force, then very simply all you need to do is head to the description of this video where you see the link that says get a quote. Click on that link and it will take you directly to the Seed Studios website and our contact form. Complete that contact form selecting the relevant drop down options for your project and also in the message section include a list of models in our model list format. While you're here on YouTube then do us a couple of favours. Click on uh, obviously give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. You can keep up to date with all the new videos which we put up and if you do hit the bell icon on, you will be notified when new videos do go up on our channel. Also, in the description of the video, you can find all links to our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Go give us a follow on those and like respectively, just so you can see all the other bits and bobs that we do. And finally, thanks for watching the video. I will see you all on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.